The finals of the women's WDF 501 singles event. Wendy Ryan Stadler taking on Fallon Sherrick. Great cover shot from Wendy. If you do not know Wendy, I will tell you right now, uh, very impressive throughout this day. Uh, number three in averages for the day, Wendy. 68.33. Um, she has average 72 to 65 and for most of her matches. She was a little low in that last match, but she beat, defeated Dita Hedman with an 81.2 average. Absolutely, and that's the match that you kind of want to pay attention to. She will, she will raise her average against the better players. She has definitely proven that so far. She did defeat Cheyenne Richards in the third round as well. And Cheyenne said, uh, well, she shot uh, extremely well against me, and uh, great job. <laughs> you come to Vegas, you expect, you expect to play those great players. Those cover shots from Fallon, impressive once again. 187 after 9. Highest average of the day of 89.1 against Annika Zistra in the top eight match for Fallon. Again, those cover shots, I'm telling you what, 95 scored. She has picked that 97, or that 57 off a lot. I believe that was Maddox chalking the final as well. Shout out to him for chalking the, the women's semifinals and finals. She fancies the, the 36 off the 12. Yep. Leaves tops. All Wendy can do is put some pressure. And this is for a break of throw right out the gate for Fallon Cherick. Right there on the wire, double 10. It's got to be a good marker. Just kidding. Big ass for Wendy, but she can take it out. She'll choose the 20s. That's where she's always went with the 116 and the 146. Double 10 here for Fallon for leg number one and a break of throw. And there it is. Moves over and sticks it. one nothing lead for Fallon. She'll do a little do-si-do, -do, turn around. And One of the best feelings in darts. That was a break. Yep. <laughs> 97. Again, that cover shot. Another 57 on the cover. Wendy counted up, one, two, three. I would say Wendy is another player that can power score. So, yeah, her first first nine average was a 77. Well, coming into this match, Fallon was the number 10 seed. She took out the number three seed, Paula. Wendy was unseeded, but took out the number, number five seed, Maria Carley. So... Um, the tail of the tape is right here as Wendy has been playing great all day. Yeah, and you're not seeing any any chinks in the armor right now. Fallon moved over to the 18s on dart three. So Wendy's going to have six from 178 to break right back. Needs, needs the treble or the 19s, yep. Leads, leaves herself 100. Fallon just trying to put some pressure on it. See if she goes tops, tops. She tried tops, tops. No, oh, pulled on that, second, that third dart. It's Into the five. Third. Nah, it's always a rush. Fallon's going to stay right there. Oh, misses the big number. So Wendy should get two darts. Well, she's not going to get two darts. 35 left. Sorry, 25 left. Double four. Oh. Just a bit on the inside. Opportunities for Fallon usually go punished. One dart at double eight. 
and does punish. 2-0 lead now for Fallon Cherick. Opportunity there for Wendy to break, missed it. Fallon holds. Wendy's going to have to start getting on the board, needs to hold right here. Will's better half, I think, has uh, forgotten how to type. But I think what's actually happening is Bryson's in the chat. Down another great cover shot. Another 57. Top 64 for the men's is almost complete. Matches for the top 32 are underway. There you go. So we have a lot of coverage still left in the WDF men's singles. And let's not forget about doubles. That is also going to be going on. They are currently calling the pairs matches as we speak. Only 40 there from Fallon. So Wendy, six starts from 132, does not need to go the bull route. That's why you're not seeing that. Leaves 32. Nice 100 right there. And you're seeing what she can do as a scorer as well on 32 after 15. So to get the first leg on the board, it would be a hole to throw, but it'll break the ice on, on getting in there. Unable to do so, found Sherrick. Triple 18 for Tops Tops would be my. Not going to go. It's going to stay there. Pull the 18. Yep. yep. So put some pressure here. Tops left. But Wendy, first dart in the double eight. Does put a leg on the board. Two to one score line here. Still favoring Fallon with that one break of throw. Only 60 from Wendy. Fallon going to try and run here, and she's definitely going to do that. That's a 180 for Fallon. Sherrick, first of the match. You can just see the focus that she's throwing with just almost a, a looseness to, to herself here now. I mean, look at that. 180 followed by 140. 98 after 9. Yep. Wendy is well back. Chance for an 11 darter. She's going to get a look at it. Double 19. Mm, into the inside. Didn't like the look of that second dart flying outside. Pulled it, pulled it up. But miles ahead, so that's why she took the, the look at that. Double 8 for a 14 dart hole to throw. She'll be back even if she misses this. She'd rather not done that though. So here we go, Wendy. Trying to put some pressure on, needs another trouble to do so. Does not do that, that's an unlucky third. Three to one lead now for Found Jerick after the double eight is pinned. Another one, nice hole to throw there from Fallon. The pressure is being pushed on to Wendy to hold throw here. Fallon wants to break yep. so she can throw for the win. Yeah, but Fallon knows at this point, hold your throw and you win this. You win this in a secure spot at Lakeside. Mm -hmm. Those are the thoughts that go through a player when you're up. You're up three to one on the best of five. A race to five is like just hold my throw. I broke them. I've already broke. Yeah, the pressure in this 
entirely on Wendy now. But you do see all the people back there watching this match. Great overhead shot there from the GOAT himself, Mr. Will Stewart. What a great final here in the women's WDF 501 singles. Again, first place also $1,000, second place $500. Big one, three, four from Fallon. Lots of pressure pushed back on Wendy during her throw. Fallon looks to break. All she has to do is set it up here. Went for the 12 for 36. Leave 60. Big triple here is needed. Hits it. 95. Just in case Fallon does not hit the 60. But she does, and it's a 4-1 to one lead with a break of throw for Fallon Sherrick. She is now throwing for the match and the title of the WDF 501 singles gold event. Lock in her spot at Lakeside. Nice 1-3-4 to start. And again, those cover shots have been deadly. She's had that 57 a lot. That chip 19 has fell for her about every time she's looked at it. Right in the treble. Yep. Perfect. Great 140 from Fallon to follow the 134. And when your opponent starts off like that, going first, it's... Darn near impossible to win that leg. Yeah, you're seeing uh, Fallon run into this finish line. Best of Fallon Sherrick right now. Big 140 from her again. 87 after 9. Well, when we ask her to turn up the heat, she turns up the heat, doesn't she? 85.52. Seventy left. Goes the treble 18 route. We'll just set it up nicely. Shot at a 13 darter for the match. Wendy needs another one. I believe she got it there. Big 10 40. But Fallon for the match. 32 is hit on dart one. 13 dart. Hold a throw for Fallon Sherrick, and she is your champion of the women's WDF 501 event, securing her spot in Lakeside, which was her whole goal being here this weekend, I'm going to guess. I'm going to say it is. If she's if she decides not to go to the alley pally, she's already got her ticket punched. Yep. Well done to Fallon. And uh, all righty, here with our women's champion, Miss Fallon Shurek. Congratulations. How does it feel to automatically book your spot to Lakeside? <laughs> Thank you. No, yeah, no, I'm really happy, you know, not only to have won this competition, but obviously to get a place at Lakeside, you know, because now I have loads of options now coming the end of next year. Yeah, definitely. You, you you were on the PDC World Stage this this year, and that could still happen. You never know with things that, that happen. But to, to book your spot in the Lakeside once again, that always feels nice and start off the year right with a big win. Any plans, or do you, you're just going to kind of keep trekking through the year, women's series, I'm sure? Yeah, no, my plans this year is, you know, just carry on playing darts, you know, keep on that women's series because it's helping my game, you know, playing bow all the time as well. So, yeah, I might do some more WDF. It just depends, you know, how my calendar falls. But, yeah, no, I've really enjoyed this one, so I'm hoping, you know, to get to a couple more competitions. There we go. Well, we won't keep you. How about some doubles action coming up as we just keep stringing it along here in the States? You looking forward to playing with Maria Carly? Yeah, I'm really, I'm really looking forward to playing with Maria because I think I played her actually at Lakeside a few years back. So I was like, do you want to play pairs? And obviously cricket, I know how to play cricket. So I was like, right, this is going to be really fun to do. Well, congratulations once again. We won't hold you up. Congrats, Fallon, and uh, good luck here in doubles.